a mí. Good morning, everybody. I am up early, fresh shaved. I don't look like a true grandpa anymore. <laughs> Let's go see what it looks like outside real quick here. Yesterday when the little was here, after those plows had come through and blocked me in, a couple of the neighbor boys came over who also have YouTube channels and they asked if they could uh, shuffle for me. So I was like, yep, I gave them 15 bucks and I told them to do their best. They did a pretty good job on the walkway here leading out to my car. They went around my car and they did the best they could with all that snow that the plows had just piled up around my car there. I figured 15 bucks was well worth it because no matter what they did, it was less that I was gonna have to do when I get out there today because I've got a lot to do, a lot of running around that I cannot ignore. Uh, so tasty! The John Cena video yesterday, I just couldn't help it. I don't know where I came up with the idea, but I thought it was hilarious. I'm just dying. The comments on the John Cena video are gonna be so hilarious. I'm probably gonna get so many thumbs down. <laughs> Everybody is just saying all I see is a black screen. Okay, guys, if you don't get it, John Cena is a wrestler. He's a professional wrestler, and he just, I don't even understand this crap. It's so stupid, but he does this thing where he says, you can't see me. And so, I don't know. I don't know why I came up with that idea this morning. I get stupid in the mornings. So it's nothing but a black screen for five minutes. There's absolutely nothing on the video at all. I can't even imagine how many thumbs down I'm going to get on that video. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about diet bet. I joined a diet bet yesterday. Now, I've done this a few times over the years. Basically, the way it works is diet bet is a website where you can go to and anybody who wants to can run a game or a bet, whatever you want to call it. Anybody who wants to can join the bet. The person running it sets the amount that it costs to join. In this case, I joined the Chris and Heidi Powell game. It costs $30 per person to join. Um, the last time I looked, there were almost 7,000 people in there with a total pot of like $205,000. And the way it works is that you have 30 days to lose 4% of your body weight. I weighed in at 357, so I have to lose like 14.3 pounds or something like that. The disadvantage for me is that I have to do it over two weeks because I joined late. They give you two weeks to actually join each contest. But the longer you wait, the less time you have to lose that amount of weight. For me, that works okay because I work better under pressure. I've never lost one. One of these things and I'm not about to start now. But the way that it works is that at the end of the game, everybody who did not meet that goal just loses the money that they put in. And everybody who did meet their goal splits up the pot. So let's just say you're paying $30 a piece to join in. Um, in a huge game like this with, you know, 7,000 or more people, let's just say 1,000 people don't meet their goal. That's $30,000 in the pot that all the winners will split up. So it's pretty cool. You don't win a whole lot of money, but it's just that little bit of extra motivation. Everybody can kind of communicate on there, talk about the weight that they've lost so far. You have like your own little spot where you can go in and update everything. So it's really cool. It's just a little bit more motivation. And it's fun to know that you're kind of competing against other people, even though you are hoping that they will still lose the weight that they want to lose. But if they don't, you win money. So it's cool. It's too late to join that diet bet right now, the one that I'm in. But there are always tons of these things running, and I believe you can join three at a time. So I don't know. I might just kind of keep using that as motivation to see uh, how much I can lose and how much money I can make off of it. When I worked as a nurse, I remember we had this uh, this big contest one time where everybody was supposed to put in, I think, like 50 bucks. The total pot was almost $1,000, and as soon as I joined, 80% of the people dropped out because they knew they were going to lose because it was a winner-take-all thing, and when it comes down to a competition, I'm all in. So this is the kind of thing that I need to give me the motivation to lose weight. I think at the end of that contest, I walked away with $300. I lost like 58 pounds or something like that, and it should have been 350 but I gave the runner-up 50 bucks. 
I would love to be in something like that again where it's a winner takes all. I would lose whatever weight I had to lose to get my hands on that cash. I mean, it's a good motivation, but I don't care anything about money. Which is probably why I don't have a lot. Money motivates me to an extent because, of course, you have to have money to pay your bills. You have to have money to live from day to day. And if you want to do anything special, you have to have money. So you have to have money for everything. But it's just not all that important to me. If I have enough money, my motivation to make money kind of slows down. I can never understand the people who have like millions of dollars and they're just going after more and more and more. Like they have a million dollars, but they need a billion dollars. Like what are you ever going to do with a billion dollars? I could see a million. I could see using a million dollars, uh, you know, to last the rest of your life. Like, if I won the lottery right now and it was one million dollars after taxes, I'd be sitting pretty for the rest of my life. I'd probably be making the most awesome videos you've ever seen, though, because I love making videos. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm happy if my bills are paid, I got a pizza, and I can go to a movie. <sighs> one of you pointed out that I do that every time I take a drink of my coffee. <sighs> because it's so tasty, because it is. But now, every single time I do that, I'm going to think about it. <laughs> okay, anyways, guys, I got to get out there and start digging out this stupid car. Those kids did a good job yesterday. They did a really good job, and it was cold out there, and that snow was hard. But I've got to get out there, dig the car out the rest of the way, and then get on my usual everyday craziness. There's something I forgot to add to my list. If I don't add these things to my list right when I think about it, I forget. Oh well, anyways. Alright guys, no matter where you're waking up, no matter what time it is, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else, pay it forward, and let's make this world a better place. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.